So as you guys know, I hate TikTok and everyone who uses it. In my life, I've seen a lot of terrible things. I wish I could erase it, but this is the worst thing I've ever seen by far. Now is this what happens when you give your kids formula instead of breast milk? Y'all remember that one flamboyant kid from school who hung out with nothing but girls? You'd try to be friends with him so he can introduce you to them, but then he'd be a dick? This is that guy. He's sensitive as hell. This fool looks like if Joe Exotic and Lil Peep had a baby. And why did he get arrested anyway? Well, apparently there was a road rage incident and this fool drives a pink Mercedes Adiz. Right off the bat, that makes you a target and makes you easily identifiable. Young Dolph had a camo Dodge Challenger. He ended up getting killed because he had enemies that were easily able to identify his car. In this dude's case, there were multiple people calling the police saying, hey, there's a jackass in a pink Mercedes being reckless. This guy just got out of his car and pistol with me with a gun. The calls continued to filter in. Yeah, there's a guy driving around in a pink Mercedes. Uh, he almost just hit a lady with uh, pushing pushing a little shoulder with some kids in the shopping center. I just saw a, a guy on a pink Mercedes uh, SUV. Mm -hmm. He went down off, off his car, shirtless, shoeless, and started hitting the, the lady's car. Officers soon arrive at the scene. Okay, right, so what happened? This dude was parked in the middle of the road, like right okay. at the light. Okay. To get back in the car, yeah. stop blocking traffic. You literally was at someone else's car, talk to them, banging on their window. I think they called too. Yeah, like, woman in the car. Uh, like, like beating on the window. Over. I was like, come on, man, get back in the car, oh go about your day. He okay. goes, oh, fuck you, this now, I got a gun, all this. I'm like, okay, whatever. Oh, he cuts us off right here. Okay, right. He threw the drink at me, so I got out of the truck, obviously. Once so I got out, he walks back into his car, he grabs his gun, points it at me. Yeah, like that. Where they, they in my face. Yeah, I turn around just to leave, and right another turn around, and whacking in the back there. There was literally a lady with her infant baby yeah. crossing the road, and he literally almost hit him. Yeah. I saw everything. Okay. I have uh, a video. She, she was after he, he after he hit him. Yes, he was chasing he them inside the parking lot. Like a crazy. If he had a black sedan, they probably wouldn't have found him. He threw a drink at a guy who cut him off, and then he followed the guy and stopped his car in front of him. A fight would break out, and Wyatt ended up pistol whipping the guys. And listen, be careful on the road. Don't flip people off. Don't throw stuff at people. Some of us can't wait for a problem, looking for any excuse to beat a fool down. You think some dude with long nails and a pink car won't do anything? Wrong. This fool is going to do the most. He got picked on growing up. All that pent-up aggression is going to get released on some random dude. Now Wyatt's side of the story is a little different. He said nothing happened and all he did was flash his gun. I just pulled over because somebody tried to kill me in the car. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. This truck came up and tried to cut me off. So I pulled over to the next lane and again, he's trying to swerve into my lane and tried to hit the car. So I stopped the vehicle and he gets right in front of me. They stopped the car right in front of me, dead stop, so that I almost hit them. And they get out of the car like they're ready to fight. And then I had four guys jump out the car and say, I'm going to beat the f*** you and all that stuff. I'm like, did they hurt you, like, sir? They did not hurt me okay. because I had a gun. No. Okay, and did you put the gun back in the case or you still have it in your hand? I just opened the glove box and I said, do you guys really want me right now. I mean, we'll see when this fool goes to court. The cops found him and detained him. Oh my God. No Miranda mm -hmm. right. Okay. Okay. No Miranda right. Okay. Wow. No Miranda right. Would you mind if we just look through it real quick? Are you allowing us to, to look through the car or not? Yeah. Yes? Okay. okay. We're, they're going to end up taking you to jail for the incident that happened with the road rage thing because 
they said that there was a gun involved and they described the whole thing and the guns there and it seems like that's what happened he said he got hit by a gun there's a witness the whole thing so we can't just we can't not you know unless you have something else to say about the incident i don't hit nobody well they're saying otherwise and they described the gun and everything and there was somebody else so my girlfriend can't be a witness to uh, was she uh, with you yes Oh, okay. Well, we're, we can talk to her when she gets here. Just call her and put her on speaker. Don't respond to any text messages. Babe, I'm getting arrested because of those people that cut me off. I pulled that. I pulled the gun out to show them through the window, like, don't f with me, and they all went back in their car. Wyatt said that they need proof of what he did, like video proof. The cops search his car, they find a gun, and it matches the description of the gun used to hit the guy. If Wyatt was smart, he would have hid the gun in his house, and he wouldn't have admitted to having it in the first place. Now the cops can piece things together, they said he hit them with the gun, he coincidentally has a gun in his car, and the dude in the truck has a lump on his head. Wyatt, my boy, there's too much evidence. You're definitely gonna go to prison. You don't see the problem that somebody with a bright pink car who is famous online gets with on the on the freeways all the time, and that's why I carry a gun. That is it. That is you said legal was in Florida. It is legal in Florida to have a right. gun in your car. There's nothing. So illegal where about can that. you prove? Show me the video proof where I hit him with a gun. We don't need video proof. Yes, proof you that. do. Because I have several witnesses that will testify against. Okay. Then then the court case should get dropped pretty quickly. Well, you have no proof. Okay. You don't even know what gun is the same gun that I hit with if I did. So then his girlfriend comes out and Jesus Christ, people, never tell the police anything. She confirmed that he pistol whipped them. So now they can use that against him. It turns out both Wyatt and the guys in the truck were lying. They were beating on him and he pistol whipped them in self-defense. And you're detaining him for resisting? No, he pistol whipped somebody with a gun over their head. Oh, okay. That is the situation that nobody helped him with. I guess he called someone. Yeah, he called 911 and then he went all the way back here instead of meeting with us. Yes, after, he came after, home after being attacked by two hillbilly crazy people in a truck. But he pistol whipped them over the top of their head. Because they attacked him. Okay. Well, that's why we're going to go back and take a seat. Okay. And if he wants to tell us the side of the story, then we'll see where we go from there. Okay. So what are you trying to do so far? Just, like, defend the hillbillies who got punched in the face with a gun? Well, if they got pistol whipped with a gun, then they're victims. Okay. Yes, we are going to... And he's a victim of being attacked while driving. They were speeding in front of him. Do you guys not are aware of, like, the full story? We heard that there was some, some kind of a road rage incident that started, but... I, yeah. I was aware that, like, multiple people hung up on his call when trying to call for assistance well, we from got, these we crazy actually got drivers. Multiple calls oh, I called about him myself, him. actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, we heard you on the phone trying yeah. to, like, find his home to just, like, show up. Wonderful. Well, to talk to him about what happened. Okay, okay. So I'll just follow you guys and see you there. Thank you. And in my humble opinion, both parties are guilty. The dudes in the truck didn't have to get out to confront him. They could have driven away. Wyatt could have driven away. Both parties pulled over and both parties got out the car. You think they're going to politely resolve things? Hell no. They're going to get violent. Are people actually surprised that when they talked to the police, they made themselves seem as innocent as possible? You expect them to admit to doing a crime to the police? They're not going to admit that they were wailing on him and he's not going to admit that he pistol with them listen a two-on-one fight is unfair if they're going to fight dirty he's going to respond in a dirty way yeah, he did right trick you swerve into my lane okay then pulled over me and right checked me by causing an accident okay do you have video of it on your car did you guys actually There's get in an accident i mean he's got a big ass like not on the back of his head no, but there are independent witnesses. So. I mean, not everybody knows who you are. It doesn't matter. I have 58 million followers on the world. Everybody who's been on TikTok or Instagram is so quiet. You can't assume that everybody knows who I you are. I don't assume that so. everybody knows who I am. I said a lot of people know who I am. I believe you. And okay. I never said and that. Why are you saying all that? I said you don't know that this guy knows who you are. Oh, he so did. Oh, did he say Trust something? Me, when somebody is swerving into my lane, brake checking me, wanting me to stop, wanting me to raise my car, coming out the car, I know that's a fan. 
Now, Wyatt is being a total douche to the police. Like, hey, do you guys know who I am? I have 1,000 followers on TikTok. You little people need to respect me. I'm a celebrity. Dumbass, these cops don't use TikTok. Nobody over the age of 30 uses TikTok. If they do, it's to spy on their kids. You really think Deputy Dan is watching videos of you twerking? This dude claiming that he's such a celebrity and some fools just randomly attacked him reminds me of Jussie Smollett. In Jussie's case, he completely fabricated it. With Wyatt, he instigated it and later said he was targeted because he's so famous. You guys got yourself a Tiger King, huh? He's coming out, Wyatt. Hey, Wyatt, so a couple things can happen right now. Um, yeah, just listen to him. What we want to do, we're going to swap the handcuffs and put her handcuffs on you, but also all your expensive jewelry and stuff, because we want to make sure that nothing bad happens to your stuff. Once it goes down to jail, that's somebody else handling it. We'll put it in safekeeping here. It's going into an evidence locker until you come back to pick it up. Okay? I don't have to go to jail. Wow, we've gone over that like three times. You pistol up the guy over the head with a gun. No, I didn't. You have no proof. And I've said this before. TikTok has a lot of talentless people thinking that they're Justin Bieber. What exactly does this guy do? Does he have any type of talent? Why is he so full of himself? And Wyatt ended up kicking the cop. I have been writing on the perform. No, and I don't know what we'll to put on it. So give me the jewelry. <laughs> you don't know what this jewelry is valued. Wyatt, come on now. I don't. You this to me the whole entire I've time in the car. So nice to you. No, uh, but you've, you've been, been the calling the car. Get back in the car. car. Let them take They'll figure it out. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, wait, wait. If they lose, if they lose, they lose. They're not gonna lose. Hey, I've been to LA County before. Okay. Stay in LA, buddy. Stay in LA, buddy. That's not what he said. You think you're a? I think you. you I, think I think you have a big issues with your ears. That's not what he even said. That's not what he even said. You guys are so annoying. It's like a power trip. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were good. Like, you guys had no friends in school. That's true. None. You guys had no f***ing anybody thinking that you were cool. So Tiger like, King, you move your arm again. Uh, <laughs> this, I can't move you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now that's physical violence. Stop resisting. Now that's physical violence. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not resisting. Yes. Let them swap the cup. I'm not resisting. Okay. You know this is an $80,000 chain that we're in that you're pressing, right? Here, pressing, right? Lot of well, we tried right to now. take it and put it in evidence. Lot of losses right now. All right, have a seat in the car. I don't think I'm a have a seat in the car. Hey, there you go. You got another charge right there. Dude, you can't win against the police. Just be as polite as possible and hope they don't accidentally murder you. Kicking the cop could have gone wrong. See, these cops have shoulder cams, but if they didn't have shoulder cams, they would have beaten you to the point where you're a paraplegic and would later say that you reached for their gun. Don't kick cops. Worst case scenario, you die. Best case scenario, you go to prison. Then he starts flirting with the female cop. This fool is hilarious. Why are they even standing here? They're just calling me Joe Exotic. How much a pawn shop them? Just ignore them. Do you, do you want to work with people like this? I don't really have a choice, bud. Uh, girl, you have so many choices in life. You are beautiful. Thank you. You are so beautiful. You could be doing so many amazing thing anyway i was gonna talk more about this fool like his background but i think this arrest is good enough final opinion this fool was supposed to go to jail in july for this he threw his life away over a road rage incident i hope it was worth it anyway i'm out